everybody welcome to my channel my name is Christy and today we're gonna do something I've not done in a long time a what I eat in a day video and I'm gonna be taking you along with me I'm going to be doing some dirty keto lazy keto along with some dirty fasting if you have no idea what dirty fasting is I will link that in the description box and in the cards for you in case you want to go check it out it has been a game changer for me. So before we start this video, let me just say this. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse practitioner. I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm doing on my weight loss journey. Everyone is different, do what works for you. Also, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, if you could do that, I would really appreciate it. You'd be doing me a huge favor. We're getting ready to hit 100,000. Let's do this, people. Let's do this. That means share the video, like the video, watch the video, give me a thumbs up, comment. And if you are not following me over Instagram and you want to see before and after photos, name will be right here. You can go check that out. There's also a Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy. It'll be in the description box if you want to go over there. Encouragement and support great people, no keto police, and over 25,000 members. There is a deal with Perfect Keto, and you guys know I love me some Perfect Keto, especially the collagen and the cookies and some of the bars. So let me tell you what happened this weekend. They got the strawberry collagen back in stock. So I ordered, you guessed it, five. The deal that I have is only good until April 12th. And it's buy five or more items and you're gonna get to save 35% off of your total. The link and the discount code will be in the description box. So go stock up and don't miss out on that strawberry collagen again. This one is mine and Chris's favorite. If you liked strawberry quick milk as a child, you are going to love this. In case you don't know, collagen is good for hair, skin, nails, and joints. If you are just beginning keto and you're worried about hair loss, then you definitely wanna start this. It's not gonna stop the hair loss process if you have that, but what it's gonna do is start incorporating new hair growth. So make sure you look into collagen. If you've not done your research there, go do that. But don't miss out on this deal. It's almost over. Now we can get started with today's video. Okay, I gotta have some energy this morning. I'm heading out the door right now for an eight o'clock dentist appointment. It's super early. So I'm taking this along with me. I'm gonna drink it on the way. Probably not dentist approved, but I'm dragging this morning. I've decided that it's gonna be a dirty fasting kind of a day because I have this teeth cleaning so early this morning. And I guess I'll just go ahead and skip breakfast, do maybe lunch, dinner, snack. So I'm gonna drink this on my way and take you guys along with me. Is this not the most gorgeous building you've ever seen for a dentist office? Teeth cleaning is done, let's go. I have so much to get done today, but let me tell you, that was so relaxing. I got to, to sit in that massage chair while I had my teeth cleaned, and I feel like I was at a spa getting a massage all day. Rumor has it over on the Facebook group, you guys have been posting that Dollar Tree has bang energy drinks. I am crossing my fingers that they're gonna have them in here. A dollar for a bang, heck yeah. 
So make sure you check your Dollar Tree and also come over and check out the Facebook group. This is where you're gonna get lots of tips and tricks and little secrets like this. I am seriously shocked right now. Check this out. They have the bang and they also have Premier Protein. I just bought a case of these at Sam's for $21. Well, let's just say I managed to get stocked up on two flavors. There's still a ton of bang left at this store. This one is in Johnson City. Make sure you go check your Dollar Tree. Welcome to today's sip and chat. I'm gonna be drinking some Sonic. I'm obsessed. Ever since we got back from Oklahoma, I've been going pretty much every other day because the entire time we were in Oklahoma, we drank Sonic drinks every single day. What I've been getting is a Route 44 Diet Sprite or Sprite Zero Add Diet Cherry. In case you don't know, they have sugar-free flavorings. I think they have like peach and raspberry, cherry, and a few others. It's gonna make this entire thing around two net carbs, which is definitely worth it for me. I will drink on this pretty much all day. Felt so good to finally get my teeth cleaned. It's been a year, and you guys already know why. Pandemic, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even gonna go into it, but it's been a year and I don't like to go that long. I like to go at least every six months and that's pushing it. I've had major dental anxiety since I was a child. As an adult, that combined with the, the fact that I had gastric bypass, you know, in 2006, um, basically made me have lots of dental issues to the point where I've lost teeth, I have implants, I've had root canals, bridges, uh, crowns, just lots going on in my mouth. And it all came back to the fact that I was totally terrified to go to the dentist six years ago, maybe even longer at this point. I had posted on Facebook that I was in dire need of a dentist and just in my friends group, you know, just 200 people, my closest friends and relatives, and I wanted their suggestions. And that was when my friend, who also had dental anxiety, told me that I needed to go to Sophisticated Smiles. Dr. Cameron and the entire staff make you feel at ease and not like this is gonna be a horrible experience, even when you have to go in for like a four hour procedure like I did a couple months ago. They have just made it so much easier on me and my anxiety, my dental anxiety is gone. And that's something I'd lived with for 40 years. So I'm really appreciative of that. And I don't have to worry about getting dentures now because I'm not kidding you, that's where I was headed before I found this dentist office. So. In case any of you live in my area and you have dental anxiety or you're looking for a great dentist, I'm gonna go ahead and put their information below. You will not be disappointed and make sure you tell them I sent you. Now, can you believe all of the bang energy drinks that they had at Dollar Tree? I stocked up. That saved a ton of money. And hopefully I've not tried the champagne flavored yet. I hope we like it. We'll just have to wait and see. But it was such a great deal. I got some of the Premier Protein Shakes for my mom also. They had so many things at Dollar Tree. If you guys want me to put a Dollar Tree video together of what they've got now for keto and low carb, dirty keto, put it in the comments and I can get that together for you this week if you wanna see it. I did do like a little snippet, like I think it's what, a one minute shot on TikTok about all of the Dollar Tree things that I found that was keto related. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, you have a TikTok. It's just Southern Christy, all one word. I think I'm gonna get back into TikTok. It's been a while. And lately I've been sucked into the rabbit hole. Last night was one of those nights. I started watching TikToks. By the time I looked up, it was two hours later. And I was like, seriously, I meant to go to bed by, you know, 11 and it was like midnight. So mm, yeah. Be careful, you might get sucked into that TikTok rabbit hole. Wanna do a quick update. Since we got back from vacation, remember I did that video about I quit keto for nine full days and how my weight gain went and how it wasn't that bad. If you've not seen that video, go watch it. One of the biggest comments in that video was keep us updated on how long it takes you to lose the weight. The video went out on a Monday and that was the day that I'd weighed. I gave you all the information and that was my first time 
going back on keto since vacations. By Tuesday, the next day, I lost one pound. By Wednesday, two full days on keto, just Monday and Tuesday, I was back down to my original weights. So it came off fast. It was just fluid. Now, what works for me, guys, may not work for you. Everybody's different, and you have to figure that out for yourself. Another question I have been getting a lot lately, and I've addressed this on several occasions, but I guess people, you know, don't watch every single video. I completely understand, but it's my mascara. You guys are wanting to know what mascara I wear. I'm going to link this below for you too, but this is just the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. The other question I get asked the most is lip color and what I've got on. This is just the Stila and this is the Perla color, P-E-R-L-A. I'll also put the name and I'll try to find a link for it down below. I don't know if I can find one, but if I do, I'll put it. But this is what you guys ask about probably pretty much every single video. Over in the Facebook group the other day, I posted that I had ordered something off Amazon to see if it helped my neck and I wanted to get your all's thoughts. So the Facebook group came through for me. They're like, get it, you're gonna love it. It's amazing. I listened, let me show you what I picked up for my neck off of Amazon. This is it. It comes in a little carrying case. I have no idea. Napio? Mm, I don't know. This is the carrying case. Let me take it out and show it to you. Here it is. It's a contraption, I know, but I have another irrational fear. Chiropractors. This is what I tried out and I am totally obsessed. It's like one of those little over the neck kind of things. Here's what the side that hits your neck looks like. And it has these little shiatsu massage ball rollers in here. So you just fit this right around you like this. You put your arms in these straps, which are adjustable, and then you can just move this around wherever you want it. You don't have to just use it on your neck. You can move it around to your back. You can use this on your calves, your shoulders, just wherever you may need it. It also has heat on it. All the buttons are like right here. It's helped, guys. It's helped. So I am just wishing I would have found it a month ago when I thought I was not gonna survive this neck pain, but it just massages the tension out of my neck. And I don't use it for like hours a day. <laughs> Who are we kidding? Yes, I do. But I won't use it in the same place. Like I'll put it on my neck for a while and then I'll move it down to my lower back and things like that. But I'm obsessed with this. Chris is using it. Preston's using it. It seems like everybody's using this thing. It's awesome. It was not that much. It was like under $50. And the fact that it helped has been amazing. This is where my issue was. And I guess it was where I was just sitting weird at the computer. Um, and I hold a lot of tension apparently in my neck and shoulders. But this was so tight. It was like hitting a rock. But now look, it's all smushy. It just like massaged all that tension out. And it's just, it's been life changing. I know that sounds weird, but if you've lived with pain for an extended period of time, or you've had chronic pain, to finally get relief with something this simple, it's like, how did I not know about this before? Now I had been looking into those like handheld massage guns, but I thought, how am I gonna use that? I can't get back there and then I'm gonna have to ask Chris or I'm gonna have to ask one of the girls to help and it was just gonna be too much trouble. And those things were like $150. They were like scary. So this has worked wonders. Again, these little shiatsu roller balls, they can change direction, they go in circles, they have three different speeds, and again, you can put the heat on, but this has honestly changed my life. I'm able to finally work again, and as soon as I feel like that tension is coming back, I just automatically start using this. It does have to be plugged in, and it even comes with a car charger, <laughs> so you can take it along with you and use it in the car if you need to. This is not a sponsored video. This company has no idea who I am. This was just something I found on Amazon. And in case any of you are having issues with neck, shoulder, back pain, calves, sore muscles, you can use this anywhere. Can you see Quincy sitting out here with me today? It's getting a little windy and you know, the rain's coming in, but at least it's warm. I'm happy with that. Go check your Dollar Tree if you drink Bang Energy drinks, PayPal. You're going to save a ton of money. I'm going to go get some work done in the house and I'll see you when I eat.
been getting a lot of food ideas from TikTok lately and today we're going to be doing one of the pepper sandwiches. I'm just going to cut this in half and I'm going to take the seeds out. There's what it looks like. Now all you got to do is just stuff this with your favorite sandwich fillings. If you want to put mayo and other condiments in this you can but I'm going to put cream cheese. Now I'm gonna add some everything but the bagel seasoning. And I'm also going to add some pink Himalayan salt. I found this one recently at TJ Maxx and it has red peppers in it also. So when you grind those up, it crushes them. There's what it looks like. So not only are you getting your salt in, you're getting a little bit of a kick as well. I'm gonna add some bacon. I just picked this up at Sam's. We talk about it every single meal. We love our bacon. I went ahead and put it in the microwave to crisp it up. I'm gonna add just a little bit of Wickles Spicy Red Sandwich spread. If you've not tried this, you can pick this up at places like Walmart. There is absolutely nothing bad in this. And this is sort of like the one that they have at Jersey Mike's. It's absolutely delicious. I'm going to add some deli meat to both sides. This is just the one we get at Sam's. So now I'm just going to start layering this inside my pepper. Now I'm going to add a slice of provolone cheese. I just picked this up at Walmart. And then of course a pickle because uh, pickles to everything. I do go ahead and put that on a paper towel and get the extra juice off of it just so it's not got a lot of liquid. And I'm just going to go ahead and layer that on there also. I'm just going to close this up <laughs> and now we'll cut it and I'll let you see what it looks like on the inside. Does that not look absolutely delicious? I think so. Okay, let's go eat. making some hot dogs that they're already cooking so i can't show them to you i do use the angus ballpark franks and those are two net carbs for each hot dog i'm going to put as much on it as possible so i will be putting some mayo some mustard i'm gonna go see if i have any sugar-free ketchup if not i'll leave it off i'm also going to add jalapenos some shredded cheese i'm going to do bacon and I'm gonna do some chili. Remember, we're doing low carb, dirty keto here. This is the one I pick up at Walmart. It's just Bunker Hill, no beans. You can make a cleaner version of chili at home and it's gonna be more keto friendly. So one fourth cup of this is gonna be three net carbs. I'm not gonna be using one fourth cup. Let me tell you my little trick. Since we don't use buns, which rumor has it, there are keto friendly hot dog buns out there. I pick up these little hot dog containers at Dollar Tree and I'll put my hot dog in here and then all of the fixings and then it's contained to this instead of sliding all over my plate. And of course, we're gonna be having some chips as well. I know some of you are probably gonna freak out, but when we make hot dogs, I'm always the one that wants the burnt hot dog. I like everything burnt and charred. I went ahead and added some mayo and mustard. Now, before I put my chili on, I want to show you, this is one fourth of a cup of chili. That's going to be a lot of chili. I'm only adding about half of that. So that's going to be one eighth. So only one and a half carb. I'm just going to pour that over top. See what I mean? Tons of chili there. And I'm going to add some crumbled up bacon and also some shredded cheese. I ended up using about one and a half pieces of bacon. I just went ahead and crumbled that up and sprinkled it over top. Now on top of that, I'm going to add a few jalapenos because ever since I started keto, I have been obsessed with all things spicy. I picked these up at Aldi. There's nothing bad in these. These are definitely clean keto. There's what my buttonless hot dog looks like. Now for my side, I'm actually going to go with some chips because it feels like summer outside. It's so warm. I'm loving the Hilo chips. If you've not tried the new ones, they're so good. The spicy salsa, of course, is my favorite. They do have three different ones. In my opinion, and we did a taste test on these when we did our road trip to Oklahoma, the spicy salsa tastes the best. The flavoring on these are delicious. Your entire bag is gonna be three net carbs and 150 calories. I'm just gonna sprinkle these on the plate. Are you ready to see what they look like? Because these are a lot of chips. Look at that. You get all of those chips for only three net carbs. Well worth it. I have tried Quest, I've tried the Huevos. I think they're good, but as far as tasting like a Dorito or just a regular chip, this one in the spicy salsa does it for me. Unfortunately, I do not have a discount code with them. I order them myself. As for my drink, yeah, you guessed it. I'm still drinking that Sonic Route 44 
Diet Sprat with Sugar-Free Cherry Syrup. I've been wanting to try to make ice cream with the perfect keto strawberry collagen for a while now. So I'm just gonna throw some things together and see what happens. I'm gonna use one and a half cups of almond milk, one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, and then some pure sweetener. I'm not really sure how much I'm gonna use yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and combine all of these ingredients in my bullet, and I'm gonna put them in my ice cream maker. It is a Cuisinart from Amazon. We've talked about this several times in the past, and I've had it linked in a lot of videos. And we're gonna see how it turns out. I ended up using about two and a half tablespoons of Pure, and I've got the ice cream machine going right now. This did not take long at all. Look how rich and creamy. I'm thinking, since it is so rich, I've already tasted it. It tastes amazing. That next time, I may go with one cup heavy whipping cream and about two cups of the unsweetened almond milk. You could even use the chocolate unsweetened almond milk if you can find it in your area. I'm gonna divide this probably into at least three, maybe even four servings. Yeah, this is easily four very large servings because there's still a ton left in here. What I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of the chalk zero chocolate syrup over top, and then I'm also going to add a little bit of whipped heavy cream. I didn't use much of either of those, and before you guys even ask, no, I didn't figure up the carb count on any of this because I'm just playing around with the recipe right now till I figure it out. And in case you've not noticed, I have upped my carb count a little bit because I'm still dropping weight at this point. At last check-in, I was at 163, and I definitely don't wanna get into the 150s. So here's dessert for tonight. I'm gonna go eat this, and I'm gonna be done and go to bed. It's actually around nine o'clock. So if you try this with any of your collagens, let me know which recipe you're using. Now remember, everything that I talked about in today's video will be linked in the description box for you. If you have any questions, you can put those in the comments. And do not forget that today, April 12th, Monday, is the last day for that buy five, save 35% on perfect keto. Go stock up. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.